Hello, everyone. Um, so this is the video that I promised I was going to send. Um, given the unfortunate circumstances yesterday that I couldn't connect with you guys for class. Um, so it was really something that I did not expect. And and um, and I really apologize for, for that. But I just it was an emergency and I couldn't um, just avoid it. So thank you for understanding um, my deep apologies to all of you. Um, so I am Joan Lopez and I am the, the professor in this wonderful course um, that I've developed with a lot of care, with a lot of dedication, thinking of you, um, very much based on my own work um, of wound ethnography in Colombia, in South America, a country that as some of you might know, has been under uh, a civil war for the past at least 70 years. And so I've developed my ethnographic research, uh, especially in the city of Medellin, in Colombia, uh, understanding the peaceful responses by community leaders um, to, to the long lasting uh, violent conflict in the, in the country. And so this course draws very much from my own, from my own experience in, in in, in doing ethnography, uh, in war zones, as if you will, um, but also, and we will finish the semester, especially looking at precisely the focus of my work, which is how is it that communities within um, uh, war zones respond in sophisticated manners uh, through processes of um, community building, uh, identity building, um, uh, seeking justice, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this course is, it, it, it's that, and, and I am very happy to teach it. This is the second time I teach this course at, at City College. Um, and and um, the first time around was uh, excellent. And I hope that this will also be an excellent course for, for you, for me. Um, and so really looking forward for this. Okay, so what I want to do, it's, um, I don't want to take much of your time today as we are going to meet in person next Wednesday. Um, I just want to go over the syllabus just quickly um, so that we are somehow in the same page about how the course will be developing. Um, so it's an online synchronous course, which means that we will meet via Zoom. You have the link, of course, um, on Wednesdays, starting at 5 and ending at 6.15. We'll only meet once a week. The idea is that you guys do the readings before arriving to class, right? So you have a week to complete your readings for, 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 for that one week. So you'll do the readings prior, of course, to that one week. So that then we utilize the, the time in class to discuss the reading. I will, of course, accompany this with a lecture to start um, the class. But then the idea is that we together um, critique, explore, um, better understand the content matter of each week. So the course will be divided um, in these categories. The first one is war. Right? We're, we're, gonna, we're going to explore the anthropology of war, the literature uh, of war. Then we are going to um, understand the relationship that history and memory has in both the making of war, uh, but also its effects on trauma. That would lead us then onto our third um, category, which is trauma um, and phenomenology and the experience of war. So here we are going to read some testimonies. I am also hoping that, uh, that, that, that we'll have some visitors in class um, to talk to us about their experience. Um, so more about that later. And lastly, we are going to explore what I call the ethnography of peace and peace building, which is what I was telling you at the beginning. Okay. So in general, that's the way sort of a class structure, that's how we are going to approach our, our anthropology of war and trauma course throughout the semester. Uh, I hope you have had the time to look at the syllabus. These are the required readings. Um, I initially had Chivico 
uh, but I don't think you guys should purchase that book, given that we are only going to read one chapter, so I'll make it available via um, via Blackboard. But these three readings, I encourage everyone to um, to buy them, uh, since we are going to read more of them. There are three major um, assignments, right, for, that I'm going to be grading, um, and this will be then your final grade, the addition of these three assignments. The first one is participation. As I said um, before, we are going to meet every week to discuss the readings. Um, and so I expect from each one of you to come up with questions, uh, to come up with insights, and just to participate. Um, given that learning for me has always been a collective and collabor collaborative process. I, there is no way that one can learn uh, on its own. And so the best way of doing it is if we together come up with a nice learning community and just to address other people's questions, uh, bring insights, uh, critiques, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So that's the participation component that I will, of course, um, be very much um, attentive to. Now, we are going to create groups um, next week when we meet. Uh, and what will happen is that each group will take one week, one week's reading, uh, one reading, and they will present on that reading, right? They will offer some historical context. They will offer their understanding of the main arguments being made in the reading. They're going to, of course, offer a little bit of the background of the author or the authors, um, right? A general presentation, very much like the ones that I will be giving you uh, throughout the semester. Uh, and that will be part then of those 30 points of participation and reading group presentation. I'll speak more about that on Monday when we meet. And I will, of course, give you guidelines as to what do I expect from the, from the presentations. They will be 15 minute presentations with your groups uh, just once a semester. So each group will take one reading um, and then present. The midterm assignments. Um, this will be drawn, uh, it will be almost like a literature review of a couple of readings uh, from, from, the, from the course. We are going to discuss this. I want to come up with the best um, assignments for you guys. So we are going to discuss how, like I'll give you some op options and, and we'll decide how, which are the most interesting for you. And, and we'll take that as a midterm assignment. It will be a short paper uh, just with some insights about distant readings, but we'll talk more about that. And then a final project would be a research project of your own interest. For this, we will meet individually and I will guide you throughout. But again, I want to uh, talk about this with you in the present so we can then address questions. Um, but please do not worry about grades. Uh, this, this is just, um, for me, the way of, of uh, somehow measuring the, the effects of the class. Uh, so those are the three assignments, very, very straightforward. These are the dates uh, of the assignments um, here. The final is on the 17th via email, the midterm as well, via email on November 8th. Um, and then participation, of course, is ongoing. Okay, so just read the rest here. And here are the class, um, the class uh, themes per week. Right? So we have between one and two readings per week. Um, sometimes they are more dense than others. Uh, but again, the idea is that we together uh, dissect them, explore them, um, and you know, expect to spend two hours a week on, on class readings. Um, and very important, guys, is that you take notes um, for each one of the readings. Uh, bring questions, um, entering conversation with, with the readings as if you were almost speaking to the author, right? And then bring that to class so we can um, discuss all of this. Um, okay, so these are just go over, just please go over the class themes and start to think about which which um, themes would you be interested in, in, uh, in presenting about um, or which readings. 
so that you kind of have an idea when we meet and when we make the groups, like what are you interested in, in, in presenting. There are also some films that we are going to be watching uh, to accompany our, our, our readings. Um, you can also present on the on the um, on the films, right? So that's an option there to consider. Um, so we'll go over the themes next week in, in when we meet online. Um, but beforehand, you should look at this. Okay, in terms of our class next week, uh, please read uh, Ferguson's uh, chapters that I posted on, on, on um, Blackboard in week one. Please be ready to, dis to, to discuss that next week. Uh, and uh, Primo Levi, I will make this available as well. So the first class will be a little crunched just because of the unfortunate situation yesterday. Uh, so we'll try to cover both Ferguson and Primo Levi uh, next week. Uh, and then with, the, the, with Hannah Arendt, we'll start talking about it next week, but we'll probably have to finish it the following one. Um, so again, for next week, please read um, Genomami Warfare um, by Brian Ferguson. That reading is already in Blackboard. And I will make available um, the chapter of Primo Levi that we are going to be reading for next week. So just be ready to speak about these two uh, when we meet next time around. Okay, now I I am going to be available for individual meetings uh, today or and, and tomorrow. So if you need to speak to me for any reason, if you have any question, please don't be uh, don't hesitate to write an email to me. You have your you have my email address. Please use my graduate center email address, not the the um, CD College one. Very important. I rarely look at my City College one. So this is the one that we are going to be utilizing. Sorry, this. Um, so I'll be available if anyone needs to chat with me, either over the phone or or via Zoom. Um, so just um, just have that on the radar if, if it's if it's necessary. If not, I will meet you guys, um, all of you on Wednesday. Thank you very much for understanding the situation yesterday. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and starting this um, wonderful, hopefully, um, learning, learning um, journey. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone.